Hello, my name is Nathan McFarland, and this is my demo video for the 2016 AWS Serverless Chatbot Hackathon. The goal of this hackathon is to be able to build a serverless chatbot that runs in AWS using Amazon's API Gateway and also Lambda, and to integrate that with Slack using some of their various integration methods. So my idea for this project was to create an AWS network helper. As a developer in AWS, one of the things that I often spend my, most of my time on is trying to figure out why I cannot connect to instance A from instance B or my database from my computer or uh, what have you. And so I came up with a script to help troubleshoot that by looking at security groups and network ACLs and route tables and all that good stuff and decided to try and put that in a Lambda and be able to call that using API Gateway and integrate that with Slack. So it's a pretty fun project, not necessarily easy, but uh, I've been able to get it so far to answer questions like you see here on the right side. Like why, can I cannot, why can't I connect to my EC2 instance from my other EC2 instance? I cannot connect to the internet from my EC2 instance on port 443. Troubleshoot connection between my EC2 instance and my RDS instance, and then also more generically help me connect to my RDS instance. And you don't have to specify a port in any of these questions or statements. It is intelligent enough to make some assumptions based on your destination, what you might be trying to do. And But you can uh, obviously be a little more specific if things are maybe not the default ports. So briefly, the architecture here is using a slack slash command to hit API gateway, and then it makes an asynchronous call to my listener lambda. Now I have my code in two different lambdas, and the reason for that is because the core of my code is down here in the AWS network helper, and it's pretty agnostic when it comes to the response style, so it doesn't have to be just used with Slack, and that was my goal. So I can have multiple listeners up here for different web apps or things like that to be able to all post to this SNS topic and then run the same Lambda on the back end and specify how the response should be handled. Using KMS and also S3 for encryption and then some externalized configs. So on to a demo of how this works. First thing to mention is the help command, which is a static help command that kind of helps give the user some information on what this is, how to use it, how it works. But that's not as interesting as some of the other stuff. So I can ask it, I have some instances set up here, so I'm going to say I can't connect to my Postgres database from my test server. So it's going to let me know that it received the request go and some, check some things, and it's going to come back with some recommendations on how I might fix it. So it's checked my instance health checks and everything there looks good, but there's some recommendations about my ACLs and security groups. So you can see those here. It's checking ephemeral port ranges and also giving me some recommendations on what security group to provide uh, the access to, and then also it provides a link to some additional documentation that's provided by AWS. So that's an EC2 to a database. I can also say with my slash command troubleshoot connection between my admin server and my test server on port 22. And again, port 22 is not necessary because it's going to assume port 22 since these are Linux EC2 instances, but I can specify it if I'd like. So there's the information that it found, really just a security group that it recommends changing. The last thing that I can show you is uh, help me, again, I need the slash command, help me connect to my Postgres, if I could type here, database, and I'm just going to leave it at that, and we'll see what it says. So it found that my instance is not public, my database instance is not publicly accessible and is behind a NAT gateway, so it makes some recommendations based on that. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it works pretty well. It's pretty flexible on what it understands, and I um, hope you like it.